Hello, welcome to today's screen printing workshop. Uh, today we're going to be doing a four colour stencil screen print. Um, I do teach emulsion as well, but today we're going to be doing uh, stencil. Um, I'm really excited to take you through the process. To get started, uh, we're going to go through the probably the most important pieces of equipment that you'll need. I like to teach screen printing in a way that you can do it at home or do it with a friend at their place. Um, there are a million different pieces of fancy equipment you can use, but um, you can also do it in this really amazing homemade way. So yeah, to get started, the most important thing that you're gonna need to, to have or to buy is called a screen. Um, if you live in Darwin or probably anywhere in Australia, you can buy these beautiful aluminium ones. This size would be about $70 to buy. Um, so they are really precious and you really want to look after them. Um, and they do break quite easily because they are silk um, and it's stretched quite tightly on there. Um, so I would recommend buying one of these. Um, you're also going to need, uh, for stencil printing, a Stanley knife. These um, stay sharp and they've got like a really nice turning angle and a little groove for your finger. So they're really beautiful to work with. Um, you're going to need a Sharpie um, for drawing on the acetate. So this is a piece of acetate. Um, it's really just a really thin piece of clear film and I would recommend getting the thinnest possible kind that you can find, um, which is easier to cut and also the ink goes through a lot more um, tidily. Uh, a lead pencil for doing your um, draft picture. This is called a squeegee and there's many places that you can order screen print materials from. Masking tape. Uh, this is my favourite, it's the type that you can tear and so it's much easier to use than the plastic type. A spatula, so this is for um, getting the ink out of the ink pots and also tidying up the screen at the end of your printing session. Um, and lastly, a hairdryer. The hairdryer is only necessary for multicoloured um, prints and if you were just doing one colour, you wouldn't need the hairdryer, which we'll figure out later in the session. And one thing that you might not see here that is really important for this uh, process is the iron. Uh, the iron is what heat sets your, the ink into your garment, a uh, very important step of the process. Um, but we'll get to the ironing at the end of the sessions. So this is a basic setup of what you need for um, stencil printing and in the next videos we're going to go through how to set up for a four colour print. Thank you for watching. You can find more videos from Territory Artists at channelnt.com.au.